Good morning, good afternoon, and welcome everyone to JustWorks' Ask an Expert webinar series. Today, the topic of our webinar is working with a PEO. I'm Moses Ballion, HR consultant at JustWorks. A few technological details before we get started. Please know that your audio was muted upon entry by default so that we avoid any of that Zoom feedback. Also, this is called the Ask an Expert series. So we will be taking live questions at the end where you will be able to submit your inquiries to our host who will answer them in real time. Uh, so use that Q&A feature at the bottom of your screen for that. And then this webinar will be recorded and sent along via email. So if you're not here, you get to watch this later. Um, all registrants will be sent that video as well as additional resources. Our standard disclaimer before we get started that this has been prepared for informational purposes only. Please don't take it as legal or tax advice. We trust you. Again, once again, I'm Moses Ballion, certified HR consultant at JustWorks and our esteemed guest, Casey Clark, co-founder and CEO of Cultivate Advisors. Welcome, Casey. Thanks, Moses. Glad to be here. So what does a CEO do at Cultivate Advisors? <laughs> well, at what time of the stage of growing the business, what did the, what did the CEO not do? <laughs> it's more of a question than sometimes I feel, but um, the CEO of Cultivate Advisors now leads our executive team. And ultimately, what we do on a day-to-day -day basis is we actually advise small business owners on how to grow their business. So that's what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. Awesome. Thank you. And you're a JustWorks customer. That's part of what I want to talk about today. Um, so what has your relationship been? Uh, what are we going to get through? Well, I've been a, a JustWorks customer for the last, I guess, two years now. I've been a part of a lot of PEOs. Uh, I've put multiple clients on different PEOs. So I'm pretty well versed in terms of what is a PEO? How do I like to use a PEO? What value do I take from using a PEO? How do I measure ROI of utilizing the PEO? So we're going to get into a lot of different discussions from uh, debunking some of the myths that I know a lot of people commonly ask about, even my clients ask us about, is this how this actually works? And we'll take it all the way to making sure we also get some questions answered from everybody in the audience today. Rock and roll. Thanks, Casey. Um, so great. You've talked to, you've been on PEOs and we're going to get into a lot of that nitty gritty hiring in multiple states, payroll taxes and unemployment insurance and what differenti differentiates PEOs. Um, if everyone will bear with me for a moment, let me just explain the groundwork of what a professional employer organization is. Think of it as three pillars, payroll, benefits, and compliance. So with respect to payroll, um, we're a payroll processor. We help you administer payments to full-time, part-time employees, as well as contractors. Um, benefits. So we help with all sorts of different types of benefits administration. And there are similar providers to PEOs that do it a little differently. The way we do it is provide access at really affordable group rates. So I like to say it's a food co-op um, for health insurance benefits for small and growing businesses. And then finally, compliance support. Um, this <laughs> runs a gamut. This is all the way from staying abreast of legislative updates and employment regulations, as well as just making sure your HR processes are up to speed and on the vanguard of what is um, acceptable in terms of the legal landscape, as well as just people best practices in the field. And um, then additional perks covers all sorts of things. Um, ancillary benefits is a big one. So access not just to health insurance, dental and vision benefits, but also 401k, um, lifestyle things like fitness reimbursement, gym membership, um, and as well as the boring but ever so important commuter benefits, uh, which <laughs> has had lower utilization of late, but we hope that comes roaring back where you can use pre-tax funds uh, to get back and forth to work. So let's debunk some myths, Casey. Um, the first Happy myth to. when it comes to PEOs is that I'm going to lose control over my employment decisions. And yeah. I think where that comes from is if you're on a PEO, your employees get their paycheck from JustWorks, from Trinet, from ADP, but they still remain the employee of the worksite employer. Has that been your experience? That's absolutely the experience. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, um, although you you have this partner who's the PEO, it's your employee. You get to make the decisions of of what direction they're going to take, what objectives they're going to achieve, all aspects like you normally would. You just have this partner as a PEO that's supporting you and helping you with a lot more of the, I'll call it the uh, administrative tasks, but also supporting the benefits and all the other great elements, which I know you just reviewed and we'll continue to discuss today. Definitely. But that's the key. 
And I want to underscore how you don't lose any control over employment decisions. So JustWorks is right. called what's the employer of record for payroll purposes. That means we're remitting payroll taxes and your employees are getting their paycheck with JustWorks' name stamped on it. Um, but with respect to employment decisions, how much to pay employees, who to fire, who to right. um, hire, who to not hire, um, all retains with the, with the customer, including compensation. I really want to emphasize that. Um, so in fact, one might even say that you get the best of both worlds. You get to retain control, but also kind of have a buffer against certain liabilities and risks. Has that been your experience? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the thing about the, thing about the liability of employees is that it's a, it's a vast, vast world in terms of all the legislature that you have to follow, all the different details that have to be taken care of and done in the right order with all the different government agencies mm. to get all this employment records taken care of appropriately. So when it comes to creating a little bit of that liability risk, you have to just realize if you, if you are with a PEO, you know this. If you're not, maybe you don't. Let me make this clear for you. The PEO is incentivized to make sure you follow the rules and stay in compliance and do well by your employees but they give you full control to do what you want with the employees. It's just on the employment record, as you mentioned there, Moses, is where the PEO partners. And I think just more people don't understand the incentive that the PEO has since their name is attached on the employment record. Right, and so JustWorks is throwing up some guardrails, but I wanna emphasize that that's only in the best interest of the customer. Just an example, um, that might be when you're entering somebody's wage, if you accidentally or unawaredly put in a wage that's lower than minimum wage, Right. The platform is going to tell you that to help you stay in compliance. Or it might be much more on the human side. You want to terminate an employee, but you know it's risky um, for one reason or another. You can speak to an HR advisor to make sure you don't veer into uh, uncertain or risky territory with respect to your employment decisions without and, and losing most, ultimate authority. Well, and it's important because, uh, you know, for, for business owners or HR professionals that are on the call, I know I know everybody can relate to this. You just don't always know what all those guardrails are. So it's nice to have that backstop to go, okay, we know we're doing the right things at this current moment. We're going to be in compliance. We're going to be okay. Cool. So as a former in-house HR professional, as most HR consultants are, um, I've talked to some HR decision makers who fear that they'll be made irrelevant, uh, that they might be replaced by all of the support <laughs> JustWorks provides. Uh, is that true? <laughs> That's not true. Um, you know, I, I will acknowledge that you may, you may slow down in, in, in terms of the speed of when you maybe want to hire this person by an employee or two. Sure, you might slow down. But at the end of the day, what happens is actually we have our HR professional. It's just they're allowed to spend their energy and time focused on people, recruiting, culture, socials. I don't think any of, any of the HR people on my team have come to me and said, I'd really like to make sure I get to do all the administrative elements around the employment records. That's my favorite part. I don't think we're going to hear that very often, um, which is why it's been great to have the focus but, and put the money that's being invested in these people on the right things that get you the bigger lift within the organization. That's awesome. So I'll, thank you, Casey. I think one helpful example, when I speak to, when I'm like mentoring HR professionals earlier in, the, early in their career, like sure. onboarding and orientation is actually a huge part of an HR professional's job. Um, yeah. What comes up immediately to thought is Form W-4 and I-9. And that's a great <laughs> example of where like the JustWorks platform is going to kick in and help you. What's totally on you is orientation. You get to focus on that people stuff, on welcoming mm -hmm. folks to the organization. So hopefully it lets you as an HR professional focus more on what you, on what you want. Yeah, well, it's it's back to it's not only just tra training of compliance, but also just back to this you know legislative landscape that exists, right? It's uh, I don't know how my my HR team could keep track of all of this. It's not like we can find this easily unless we're just searching every day for each state to figure out what the details are. So you just have to remember it's helping. It's a tool that helps support your HR professional to allow them to focus their energy on the right things. That's the right way to look at it from my experience of using one for a lot of years. That warms my heart, Casey. Thanks. <laughs> well, wow. it's been my experience. I heard this from you for the first time, but apparently PEOs yeah. are kind of old school, a lot of paper pushing. Um, I've only worked at JustWorks in the PEO <laughs> space, so tell me more about that. Yeah, look, I'm not throwing anybody under the bus, but I have been on many PEOs. I've, you know, again, we, we have a very large portfolio of, of businesses that we help support and help grow up their business across the U.S. and Canada. So we've, we've had, a, I guess, a unique perspective to be a part of them as well as to place and help onboard into them. And here's what I'll tell you. A lot of PEOs out there do have a lot of paper to be pushed. It's not, 
is I'll just call it maybe tech forward. It's one of the reasons why we chose JustWorks. It more resembles our brand and our tech forward, you know, kind of approach. I believe JustWorks is probably the most premier in terms of their technology platform. I've been on almost all of them. Um, and, and so I can absolutely, you know, not that I get, have an award or I'm the one that gets to say this, you know, Moses, but I would say JustWorks has the best tech enabled in terms of being a PEO firm. So if you're fearful that it's gonna be a lot more work, or I disagree, it organizes things way faster. I have way less papers, and if I do get some type of paper, I'm usually taking a quick photo and emailing it to my account exec at JustWorks, and it's, it's handled for me. So, um, you know, obviously I have to do the work, but the fact that I have that support to help me process through that is what makes it go so simple. So just know that technology, that's, that's not true. If you find the right PEO like JustWorks, you'll find that they're very tech forward, and it makes it a much better experience for the employees as well because it really heightens your brand when they first either onboard to the company or our current staff when they realize the type of portal we're able to offer for them to keep everything very organized. Rock on. So a quick story. At my first job as an HR professional, an employee came to me and griped about how difficult it was to find their PTO balance. The system was <laughs> really laborious. And they said, why is our PTO system so bad? And my initial defensive reaction was like, well, it's not us. It's not the company. It's just the provider we use. Right. Bing, the employee didn't differentiate. They thought it was the, mm. the employers, integral to the employer. And so I hope to bring the you know, tech forward, user-friendly experience that JustWorks provides. Employees don't necessarily know that they're different things and maybe they, they shouldn't even be thought of that way. And so we like to make our customers look good to their folks, I guess. <laughs> good first impressions. Well, and you talked about the I9W4 process when right. you know employees are first onboarding. One of the biggest compliments we get from a lot of our employees when they come into the organization is how smooth and, and, and seamless that was and how they didn't have to do a bunch of extra work. And it wasn't you know trying to figure out how to print something and get it scanned back and bring it back. I mean, <laughs> we all know, especially now, you know, a lot of us are still working from home. There's a lot of people in hybrid mode right now. So uh, knowing that's the case and trying to get people off the ground, this makes it quite a bit easier. I live in New York City, Casey, and did just cave and buy a printer, which takes a <laughs> lot, sorry. Of, a lot of big percentage of my apartment. So. <laughs> I don't know if I'm congratulating you or I'm apologizing you, but either way, it seems like it's a good milestone. Thank you. <laughs> um, so you talked about how employees, you know, benefits, benefits are tough. As an in-house HR professional, I was trying to speak that benefits language, explain deductibles, coinsurance, <laughs> out-of-pocket maximums, all that stuff. So um, how does JustWorks help your company with that? I mean, this is probably one of the main reasons why for me, it's a no brainer. If you're a small business, if you're a scaling business, you need to be with a PEO firm. The amount of energy, space, and time to manage all the different benefits and be the discussion board for those benefits to your employees is exhausting. If it's you as the owner or if it's executives or if it's your HR team, it doesn't matter what stage of the business or what stage of the, the growth of the company's in, this is always gonna be a pain. But because of the technology forward kind of approach that JustWorks offers as a PEO, but more importantly, just the value of a PEO service is that you get the support for your employees. Mm -hmm. So not that it's all on JustWorks, of course, but it's, you know what my favorite thing is, is when I get an email from an employee and they say, I need to know more about this benefit. I know we've all experienced it. People that are probably chiming in on the call today. My favorite response is, you know where JustWorks phone number is, log on to the portal and give them a call. They're gonna pick up, they're gonna help you. And the cool part about JustWorks is you guys have a killer team. When I first came in, I was so impressed how much you focus on the employee as, a, as its own user. The fact that you call them that is like, they're still a user, not just the administrative you know, drivers. They've had phenomenal experiences. And again, that's just what makes the partnership so easy for me and why I'm so proud of you guys. And I like being partnered with you guys and why I'm willing to take an hour of my day to share my perspective on your behalf. But at the end of the day, one of the biggest perks is that you don't have to know all this. I don't know even really how all the details of the benefits work. I, I do, but not for each person. And I don't need to because I know I have my partner who helps me manage that, which in this case is JustWorks. Would you go so far as to say that maybe you can defer growing your HR team or, or, you know, maybe even having a head of people hire, which would normally have to own all that stuff, take it off your plate as a co-founder? Yeah, I mean, it's, it, there's definitely an administrator, administrative role that's removed that you'll save. Mm -hmm. I don't think you ever remove from like your HR head, depending on the size of the company, you know, mm -hmm. it could matter depending on the situation, of course. Um, 
but I definitely think you get cost savings overnight by not having to manage all the administrative elements that go along with this because people massively underestimate it, especially if you're trying to recruit and retain top A talent, which obviously I hope everybody's trying to do in the organizations. You don't want to spend your time on that. You want to spend time on their development. You want to spend time on their culture. I mean, that's what you want your HR team doing. Um, and that kind of leads into just one of what I love about the, the PEO experience is that it's this kind of all in one, you know, option. I, we work with all these business owners and we see how fragmented it is from, a, you know, having the, the PTO on one section to having the contractor payments in another section to having the employment, uh, you know, payroll on one section, then I have to write a check to the benefits. You got to cross, like, am I withholding enough money for the benefits? It doesn't just automatically do it for you. The administrative nightmare that can happen if you don't have these right systems in place, it can be exhausting and you have no idea how much money is being wasted by spending on that versus letting tech do it for you and using this all in one approach that PEO is bringing to the table. Beautifully put. <laughs> Thanks, Casey. I don't have anything to add. Before you should. It makes it a lot section, easier. <laughs> that's that's the short the version. Section. Oh, sorry. Um, I want to remind everyone the Q&A feature at the bottom. Keep those questions coming in that we're going to address at the end. So always looking forward to the asking the expert. So we talk about a distributed workforce. Casey, you're a Chicago-based company, but you've got folks all over the place. You mentioned Canada. Um, Earlier, we talked about navigating the employment regulation landscape. In the yeah. US, my like UK um, Paris-based admins are always like, states are so serious with their employment <laughs> regulations. And I'm like, yeah, I mean, yeah. a lot of them kick in at the state level above and beyond the federal level. So it makes it extra, extra nitty gritty patchwork. Um, so how has JustWorks or how do PEOs help you navigate the multi-state thing? Well, let's be clear, it's not even just state anymore. I mean, I, we, I have, you know, there's a city that I even have an issue with now where not, I don't have the issue with, but like right. the city reached out and we had to pay an additional tax just for that specific city oh, within right. a state. Right. So it, it gets so complicated. Again, it depends on the structure of the business and the growth. You know, for us, we're a very fast growing organization. We've got people all over the U S and obviously we are, we are in Canada, but you, you guys aren't supporting us in Canada there. You're obviously U S only, but for the employees that are in the U S as we go to state from state to state, and we work through and we launch these states, it is just this overwhelming feeling if you don't have a PEO supporting you. I'll explain very clearly the difference. I have to go on Google, search the state. I have to figure out, am I on the right website? Is this the right website for the state? Their sites are so big and often very unorganized. I'm sure people are shaking their heads in agreement with that if you've ever done this. And then I'm going, do I have the right passwords? Do I, do, I, do I have to get an account first or do I just file? Like, how do I get to know? And there's nothing that like you get to the end of the site, right? And it's like, ding, you've done your job. Like that never exists, actually. It's usually like you submit a form, like we might get back to you or we'll just assume it's good, right? Like that, that's more how it works. And I know people are probably chuckling, but that is the reality of this thing. Um, let me explain the other side. When you work with a PEO, they send you this nice, simple email you've hired someone in this state. Here's your checklist, step by step, go do these things and email us with any questions. It's amazing. I don't think, I don't spend time on it. I go do it quickly and I have a conversation with my account executive. If I have any questions, they're there to help guide and support me through that process. I, I mean, if you're planning on going to multiple states and you're, you, know, you don't have a, a massive enterprise level team built out to manage this, all this for you and do all the research, Pretty crazy. And I think that, you know, Moses, to speak to what we spoke to before, states are changing legislation all the time, right? And so again, just the, that's the, you know, when you do it, the proactive approach that JustWorks takes, or I, I hope most POs, but I know JustWorks does, I get this nice, simple email, usually about every month and sometimes twice a month, where it just breaks down every state. It is in one email. It is so easy for me to get the email. I scroll down, I look for my states I'm in, and then sure enough, before usually I can even take action, I've got an email from my account executive that's going, hey, you probably just saw this. This happened in Illinois. You're going to need to change one, two, three. Here's what you need to do. So those, I hope that maybe just sets the tone of how it actually happens when you work with a PEO versus if you're on your own and trying to go through a payroll provider. It is a very different experience. That's really descriptive. And there was a, just a major milestone in Illinois. There was. Well, I think there's actually been a few, but are you talking about the uh, sexual harassment training requirement? 
Yeah, uh, I just got that literally last week. So I assume that's what you were talk talking about. Oh, yeah, but, yeah. but yeah, it was a great example. I mean, that's a perfect example, Moses, right? Like I got an email from my account executive that said, you know, if, if you know or you don't know, this just came out. All of your employees in the state are required to go through this. But again, this is the perk of how great JustWorks is. It just says, by the way, click here, do this, add your employees. We'll send the training we've already pre-built and it's already certified to be able to hit that accomplishment. We'll track it. We'll measure it for you. And if you ever have any issues, we'll have a data or, you know, data tracked for you to come back to and prove that you hit the requirements for the training. I mean, most people will go spend five, 10 hours. Okay. I got to go find a training provider. I got to go, you know, figure out who this is going to be. I mean, so for me, it's like you're saving money hand over fist on the ROI side of partnering with a PEO firm because of all those extra perks and elements that come along with the experience. It kind of goes back to that all in one approach of what makes it so easy to scale the organization. Thanks, Casey. You're welcome. The description. And we talked about, um, I like to say, don't reinvent the wheel. JustWorks already has employees in all 50 states. So when you hire a remote employee somewhere else, set up a new office, it's not the first time because you're on JustWorks and it's not our first time. Um, so we talked about payroll taxes, about the remittance, um, how you know a, a, a payroll provider will let you, you, you have a lot of control, but you don't have any guidance. Um, and so yes. you shared uh, a great story with me about the minimum salary threshold yeah. that changed. Yeah, I had a, I had a sales uh, individual within my organization. We had kind of a lower base with more of a higher commission yield that was placed on top. And we had been that way for a while, right? But we got an email and we got an alert that said, hey, you are outside of this compliance. Um, they have just changed this. You have you know, 30 days and here are your options. And it was so descriptive from JustWorks, it was so helpful. It was just step one, you can either move this person to an hourly employee, you need to go do this, this, and this. This is how it's gonna chest the benefits. This is what you're gonna need to shift. Or you can go have that conversation and upgrade that salary a bit to get over that minimum threshold you choose. So there's a good example of like, I have full control. It's always options to stay within the limits to make sure I'm within compliance. Again, that's where that perfect partnership is. And I'll add one small side note, cause this recently just happened a few months back. Um, it was so great because we decided to, to, you know, go up in the salary and that's what we decided. And I had an email from my account executive right after it says, do you need any templates? Do you need any forms to have that conversation and, and document that change of comp and why you're changing it? And it was just, it was just so nice to have that partner in your back pocket. So that's a perfect example of when this comes up and it happens a lot. And my gut says most people don't even realize it's happening and they're just out of compliance and they're at risk and they don't even realize that. And that can be extremely costly if your employee or someone ever find that out. And then you had an issue on the back end. Oh, it could, it could be devastating depending on the size of the business. That's an HR person's nightmare is learning about a change from an employee. Yeah. Oh, bad. awesome. We haven't been paying you legally. Great. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's have a conversation. That's right. So we talk about that HR support. Um, there's a lot of tech enabled um, triggers. Yep. We talked about how you got an automated email, a, outline for the minimum salary threshold change, but you also, I think, spoke to one of my colleagues recently, an HR consultant, about a people issue. Yeah, so we actually had somebody that we were looking to terminate from the business, and um, there were some complications of what we needed to do and why, and I know there's been a lot of this going on with either layoffs or how to approach this even with everything that happened with COVID, the furloughed. It can be complicated. It's not like every day we're reviewing furlough policies, right, as HR team or as, as, as an owner of the business. So that was a perfect example where when we reached out to our account executive, we had the support we needed. She actually brought us to an expert within JustWorks who then had a conversation with me and walked me through best practices, gave me some tools to utilize. We were able to just adjust a few small things, put our spin, our brand on it to make sure we owned it, it was our decision. And then we went forward and it was very, very smooth and we followed all the, you know, dotted all the I's and crossed all the T's. As you try to scale an organization, if, if your owner's on the call today, that's scary when you need to start to give up control of those types of things. Well, with a PEO, you can be rest assured that your team is going to be able to follow that process. And it's almost like your insurance policy that your team is going to do what they need to do to work through that. So that's what I love about the support side on my end as the administrator, as the owner of the business. It's been fantastic. That's great. It's not just administrative HR, it's tactical uh, HR acumen as well. Yeah, how to support. Yeah, and it's it's always been a conversation. It's always a collaboration, which is what I always appreciate. Awesome. Well, you customers can always get on with an HR expert. A um, little more about JustWorks. We also do have a resource center. We want to make things as self-help for you as possible, immediately retrievable. That said, 
can almost always touch base with an HR consultant same day for bespoke um, guidance. Um, but you shared a great story with me about when you were first, not even a yeah. Works customer yet. Yeah. Uh, just education, I think, is at the forefront of JustWorks, right? I think you guys have figured that out. And and reason why I share that is, um, I've, I've, like I said, I've put a lot of clients on different PEOs. I've been a part of different PEOs myself and my own organizations. What I really appreciate about JustWorks is that I was actually learning through the demo, right? And as we were going through it, I was being educated on how it would work and what I would need to press and how I would need to shift it. It was that level of detail. It wasn't just... PowerPoint slides of this mythical thing that I was going to get to experience. You actually showed me the platform. You started to build it with me so I could understand how this is going to look for my employees, what their experience was going to be, what mine was. But as we went through, I actually found two or three things that we were doing wrong because we went through it because we caught the guardrails. And so that's just a good sign. And that's what really sold me transparently, Moses. That's why I shared that story with you. That's what sold me on JustWorks initially as I went, if they can catch this this fast, how much more are they going to catch um, and how much more are they going to support us with uh, to help us stay? And, and as you're scaling a company, all it takes is one big issue and it can be an issue. So, you know, it can be a problem, you know, for the organization. So education is at the forefront. I, I really appreciate it. And it's been great. Our, our employees love the diversity training that's come out that you guys have built to support us with this year, the sexual harassment we just assigned based on the new legislation. So uh, all of the above, uh, the education aspects have been really, really nice. Thanks, Casey. You're such a, an academic customer. I love those with a thirst um, for the HR discipline, and I see that in you. So um, that really warms my heart. <laughs> <laughs> we can geek out about that later. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I've been watching some amazing questions come in. I really want oh, okay. to ask some of these your way. So while I come through these, let's see. All right. Wanda has a question for you, Casey. Why did you move to JustWorks? And what do you think they offer that other PEOs don't? Yeah, good question. Um, so I, I hit on two elements, the education, the technology. I really believe that JustWorks stands out just a, 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 among other things way, way better. Um, I will tell you though, I found the pricing way better at JustWorks for us personally. And the reason why I say that and I, I share that openly is because, um, you know, with, with JustWorks, I don't know if this is the true Moses, by the way, but this is just my experience. So correct me if I'm wrong on this, but my experience has been that it's, it's just such an all in one purchase price. And my experience with other PEOs has been like, Oh, well, if you want access to training, you have to pay this. Or if you want to do this, you have to do that. Um, so I just found it was, it was burdensome and it wasn't a true all in partnership. And that's what I felt at JustWorks. I also found JustWorks was one of the only PEOs that would be willing to actually show me the platform like I mentioned mm. and actually let me visualize it and use it. It was always pretty pictures. And then when I'd get in the back end, it wasn't anything what I thought it was going to be. And it was very clunky and it didn't actually represent the brand that I wanted to represent. So that's personally Wanda for me why I chose to work with JustWorks and why we continue to put so many of our clients in our portfolio to work with JustWorks as well. That's awesome. Thanks, Casey. I mean, we pride ourselves on our transparent pricing and also all in one model. A great example, Steve's got a question about 1099s. Um, we're one of the few PEOs, yeah. I think, that doesn't charge for 1099 payments. So you can handle contractors and vendors right through JustWorks. And then um, draws, we also handle uh, owner's draws. So for S-Corps or uh, LLCs. Um, so that's something we can process as well. Don't need to go externally for that. Mo Moses, we have owner's draws. We have contractors. That couldn't be further than the truth. Um, most PEOs I'm on, it's actually even a different platform. It's not even the same place. So it's, you're actually, it's like, what's the difference? Why do I need to utilize you for this? And I have to pay you. Um, that's a, definitely a big perk for me. That's amazing. So I, we might have to go a little late, um, but anyone who's got to jump off at two Eastern, um, by all means, we hope you stick around, but we want to respect your time. Uh, the question I want to get to before then, and then I think I'll toss you one or two more, Casey, is does JustWorks have mental health support services for employees? Um, so yes, we provide access to our valued partner, Talkspace, who's gotten a lot of great press recently. You've probably heard of it. And all JustWorks employees, all customers get a free three-month trial that they can offer talk space to their employees. Yeah. So that's where you can text in, have video visits with a therapist, all the more relevant amidst the pandemic. Um, and so yes, we do offer those services as well as an EAP for all customers on JustWorks, benefits eligible employees get access to an EAP employee assistance program where um, they can just talk, first of all, a licensed counselor picks up the phone 24 seven, and two, they'll actually connect you with a therapist that's uh, in your area if you want to like start 
seeing someone and they even make sure that it's on your insurance in case you want to continue that relationship. Um, it's um, financially feasible for you beyond your initial fir three, first three free sessions. That's quite a tongue twister. So yeah, mental health support um, for sure. Casey, have you ever reached out as a, as, a, as a business owner, have you ever reached out to JustWorks uh, for how you can proactively, like to an HR consultant for supporting employees' mental health? Yeah. So when everything was happening, even when COVID first hit and we started to do the close downs, the, one of the first emails I sent was to JustWorks and said, what do we have to support this? And again, uh, JustWorks had a bunch of resources and actually provided us some PDFs that we actually then brought to our executives and had some discussions on of what signs to look for. How do you measure this? If you see this, what's our action going to be? So we kind of took a, I don't know if it was a template or if it was just kind of a workflow but uh, JustWorks provided that for us, and we were able to use that when that crisis initially hit, because we were all over that uh, based on the nature of our work. So, yeah, we absolutely have experienced that. Rock on, cool. Uh, again, I'm going to take a few more because this is just this is just too good. So, uh, thanks, Casey. I appreciate. It. I didn't ask you, but no, I appreciate the generosity. Uh, of your no time. problem. I'm happy to help. Um, you talked about your account manager earlier. Okay. Let's see. I saw a question about um, the support model. So um, whether you have a dedicated rep. Um, so the answer is yes, Casey, I think you've always had an account manager. If you've got seven or eight employees or more, you get one. If not, um, sorry, you're stuck with our world-class 24-7 uh, support team. So you might not have that consistent contact if you've got three, four, five employees, um, but you do have that support at your fingertips um, to access through the platform or dial in on the phone. But um, any comments about your account manager experience, Casey? I love my account manager. I actually just shared some hard feedback with my account manager uh, two weeks ago because it was benefit renewal period. And I had a question. I said, hey, I have an employee who's called in and just it's taken several days to get back to them. And I had a response in less than just a minute, maybe two. I mean, it was so fast. It was scary. And her, her response was, we are extremely backed up because this is the last day of your enrollment period. Don't worry, we will get these answers. We will handle this. So the fact that they, you even acknowledge, hey, we're very busy in this exact single you know, small moment, keep in mind, I got the response in a few minutes. I mean, no exaggeration. Um, so for me, what I love about my account rep is how fast she gets back to me. If I send an email, I know I'm going to have an answer usually by the end of the day, worst case within two days, but it's usually so fast. I just love that. So that's me. That's my experience. And it's, it's been great. Naturally. Well, you two yep. are, are lucky to have each other, you and your account <laughs> Fair enough. Anne's asking, how many employees did you have, did Cultivate have when you started working with PEOs generally? And yep. how many have you worked with? Yeah, good question. So for us personally, um, we didn't start until we had about 10 or 12 um, for us personally. However, we have seen a lot of the businesses we work with now that we just start them, even if they have two or three, we put them on the platform because it really doesn't change much on the pricing element um, and they get access to attract the highest talent. What I find most business owners screw up is they don't realize that you want to hire the most valuable employees first. Those are the first two or three people that are going to totally dictate your culture. Mm. You want to get a talent. A talent expects a good benefits. They expect a lot of those different elements that PEOs can offer at more affordable rates for you. So for that reason, that's why I encourage you to start as soon as you can. But for me personally, it was about 10 to 12 employees is when we started. Great. Thanks for that. Yeah. Our last question before we wrap up at 205 comes from Ben and it's a doozy and I love it. What are the limits of designing your own policies benefits programs, and salary compensation structures. Yeah. Um, I'll start. So okay. ben, the limits of designing your own policies, there's absolutely no limit at all. That's again where the works, you as worksite employer retain full control over employment decisions and policies. Um, that said, we do have a great employer ha employee handbook builder. Um, True. Which will get you set up. Did you use that, Casey? I did, yeah. No, it's good. It helps. Well, right. So it's not like, yeah, you're on your own. You can do whatever you want. It's like, yes. here's a great, a great jumping point. You can stand on the shoulders of giants. I think that works here. Um, if you need that as far as compensation structure, I'll say that again, absolutely total freedom. JustWorks will not dictate what you can and cannot pay your employees. We're always going to help you remain aware of guardrails like minimum salary thresholds, like minimum wage, but we don't impose any oversight on your compensation structure. And then benefits offerings was what I wanted to pitch to you, Casey. That was Ben's third question. Well, what's, what's great about that ask is that we just went through this benefit uh, renewal process, right, that we go through every year. And what was so awesome about this experience, Ben, was that um, we had set up our 
uh, our benefits a very specific way in terms of what percentage we'll cover for the individual versus the family, you know, et cetera. And we had had this all in our company policies and there was a slight tweak of what was expected on the benefits side. And my account representative walked me through that tweak, explained what needed to happen. And I just told her, I said, I'm really nervous about having to change this policy in my company right now. I, I need to, you know, kind of reduce the change management with everything going on, working from home, et cetera. She said, no problem. What you're doing is would still be considered compliant. Let me reach out to our tech team. We'll shift the system to allow that to happen and we'll allocate it that way. Go ahead and press submit. I'll email you once I have it confirmed. It was done in a few hours. We got to keep it. I didn't have to change my policy. So short version, you have full control. You can pick which benefits you want to offer, which ones you don't. It's transparent pricing. You see how much you're going to pay, how much the employee is going to pay. I mean, you can't, it's all tech enabled. That's what makes this experience so amazing versus reading through all these PDFs, trying to figure out what's the best one. They, JustWorks gets it. They realize it's a time saver. And that's my benefits re enrollment period. It took me all of about 26 minutes uh, with my account manager who guided me and walked me through it. So I enjoyed it. Thanks, Casey. That's another HR nightmare is drowning in SBCs, summaries of benefits and coverage, all those PDFs. So. I'm not jealous of that. I'm glad that I have this relationship and I don't do that. <laughs> well, that brings us to time. Um, Casey, thank you. Really, thank you for- yeah. Thanks for having me. You should let me blubber on a little bit. Yeah, no, and uh, let, I mean, let's geek out later. God, we could go on forever, I feel like. Um, so for our attendees, are you interested in learning more about JustWorks? Don't worry. We're going to send you a follow-up email to you and all registrants with additional resources and information on how to get in touch. So stay tuned. With that, I'm Moses Ballion, HR consultant at JustWorks. Be well, stay safe, and I hope everyone has a great rest of your day. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Casey.